Hey guys, it's Matt again from Anti Hedge. Before I start this video, I just gotta say one thing. This is not financial advice, and I don't accept any liabilities for losses you may incur. Everything here is strictly for news, research, and educational purposes so people could, you know, know what's going on in the world. So with that in mind, you should be able to enjoy this next video. And this next video, I'm gonna be talking about a coin called Luxo. We mentioned it previously on our channel. And today I'm just gonna do a, basically a follow-up to tell you guys uh, more or less what's happening. And now that the market's starting to recover, we can see, okay, Luxo's price has finally bounced back. So uh, during that crash, we saw it hit four bucks. A lot of people loaded up, big, big whales loaded up that bag. I, I could tell because now it's starting to push back up on a small supply of only 15 million likes. So it's a very small supply. and. Basically, now we're we, we basically in the last few days we went up uh, roughly about fifty percent because we went from nine dollars to ten uh, to fifteen, and it's looking like we're probably going to continue with this kind of like steamrolling effect for the price because as you can see in the graph, it's looking pretty consistently upwards in almost every respect except for this brief period where it dipped and even on that dip you can see a double bottom forming here before it took off back to where it's at right now so from that in mind it's just it's it's, it's pretty clear to see that there's there's something happening here it's a pretty popular pretty popular coin for whales that aren't really talking about it because there's a lot of volume going on here and no one seems to really know about this project yet. So one of the things I wanted to mention too was um, they're going to be launching their main net soon. They're pretty much developing that whole thing. And one of the things that's crazy about this main net is they've already talked about how Luxo will likely be the first beacon chain to actually be running Casper, which is basically Ethereum 2.0. So it's pretty crazy to think that Luxo will actually basically integrate ETH 2.0 before ETH does. So it should give you an idea of how well this project's moving along. But granted, with something like code, uh, they can't really set an exact uh, launch date for the mainnet. So initially they said quarter two. We passed the quarter two and now I'm, I'm thinking the community is looking at a Q4 launch. Because naturally, when you're making these codes, you don't want to have to go back and fix something because if you have to go back, it's going to take much longer to actually fix the project. Most people saw what happened with Ethereum and how Ethereum now is having issues because of uh, uh, coding errors from the beginning. So they're basically seeking to eliminate that. They're already talking about having more transactions per second than Ethereum and being able to do a little bit more. And another key thing that I saw here that was very interesting was um, was uh, more or less how they want to be moving their their uh, their company along in terms of like making Web three and all these other DeFi protocols and other crypto protocols more accessible and easier to use, as well as wrapping that up with fashion NFTs and creating you know a blockchain that's um, uh, good for everyday use. That's more or less what they're gunning for. And another thing too that I wanted to mention about that was um, they also want to do something called universal profiling. And this leads back to something that's extremely important is that universal profiling, what it is in, in, in essence is basically just, you know, the ability to have like an online identity that is not i guess susceptible to bots and fraud so you can see over the course of the last few years how much bots and fraud have really affected the world just in terms of like bots are messing with elections bots are messing with the financial system uh all kinds of hackers and online entities that are just you know messing with the world including hacking pipelines Things like a universal profile online will actually be able to reduce that because having access to certain things, you'll actually need to prove that you exist. So I could definitely see value in that. And one of the things that I, I definitely, definitely think is interesting about Luxo is that 
Vitalik in this video right here that I'm showing on I my guess, screen. Uh, but I'm going to pause that. But more or less what he's talking about is the importance of digital identities in Ethereum and other DeFi protocols existence. Meaning that in order for these things to actually thrive and survive, we're going to need some form of universal profiling. And what makes it interesting is Vitalik does not mention Luxo by name, but he mentions one of its largest use cases and how blockchains will be moving in that direction likely. Now, that just tells me that one of the most, you know, one of the richest men in the world has basically just said like the whole use case of Luxo without saying Luxo. So it should give you like a relatively large hint as to what he means by that, because if Luxo plans to be interoperable with Ethereum and having beacon chains that all connect to each other, then Luxo could basically become the digital identity for Ethereum. So I'm starting to think more and more that as all these Ethereum killers develop, it's actually just becoming more and more a chain of interoperability. And in that chain of interoperability, if everything is able to basically connect with itself, you'll actually have uh, more chance of having an inclusive, an inclusive uh, system, you know, and that's, that's one of the main important things about it. And there's another picture that I want to go back here. I have to find it. Hold on one second. It's basically a picture of all the developers of Ethereum and how ah, there it is. Perfect. And how look at this. So we'll start off with, uh, with uh, Vitalik Buterin right here in the background, $291 billion in Ethereum. And th by the way, this is an older, this is an older picture it was posted about a month ago. So it's probably worth more than 291 billion by now Ethereum. But the point is, is that's Vitalik's network with net worth with his company. Then you move over Charles Hoskinson. He's not in the picture, but he's likely taking the picture. But regardless, ADA is about 43 to 50 billion now. Then you go to Gavin Wood, which is Polkadot. He's worth 16 billion, his company. And then you look at Fabian, 150 million. 150 million. So everyone in his group have become billionaires. He hasn't yet. So that should just give you an idea of if one of these guys, or rather, here's the expression. If you hang out with a group of six millionaires, you'll likely become the seventh. In this scenario, he's a millionaire hanging amongst a group of billionaires. He's likely to be the next one. And that was just something that we always said when we were kids. You are who you spend your time with. You know, you're, you're the product of, of your friends. You know, so if you have good friends, you'll have a good life, bad friends, bad life. That's more of a moral thing. We're not getting into that. We're here for the finance, baby. So Luxo at 150 million, let's say he even gets half the market share of Gavin Wood's polka dot. So 8 billion, half of that. That would mean that Luxo would go up roughly about uh, 30x, 30, 30 to 40x. At 30 to 40x, at $15, you could do the math on that. That's about five, six, seven hundred dollar Luxo at least. It's quite a bit from $16. Now let's say he gets um, more market share than that. Let's say he gets half of Ada's. So half of Ada's, let's say he gets 21 billion inside of Luxo. 21 billion inside of Luxo at the current circulating supply. That's, that you're looking at a potential 70 to 80 X on that. That's huge, that's huge potential gains for what Luxo is, which is undervalued in my opinion. So I'm gonna wrap it up here by saying this isn't financial advice. We're likely to do another video talking solely on uh, universal profiling and the digital identity and Luxo in a, in, a, in a video to come just to like educate you guys as to how big this could be. And if they launch in Q4, that main net goes, that thing is going to fly with a supply that low, 15 million. So guys, like, comment and subscribe. Check out our other videos and leave a comment in the section. We'll get back to you guys.
for anything you want to ask or any coins you want to hear about. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.